Chips, 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 they're not just tasty, they're critical to the development of cars and more. We need some FSD, we need some AI. Well, Tesla's delay, their AI5 release, is that critical? Is it important? Does it even matter? And they may go into fabricating their own chips aplenty. We'll find out what that's all about. That means, of course, I got my good buddy Herbert here from Brighter. He's going to make us precisely that because we need it, my friends. We need it. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. So, Herbert, uh, I know you were there at the shareholder meeting. I know because I saw a live stream and I <laughs> think I was in it. How weird is that? It's like a fever dream. You were dream. there. Yes. I was there. Tesla delays next gen AI5 to mid 2027. CyberCab will launch on AI4. Now you pointed out that this is not new news, but uh, uh, this is the thrift store news. It's news to me. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Uh, so oh, I, one downside, you could say, well, how unfortunate a delay. But at the same time, you could say, right, but AI4 works. What's going on here? Sure. Well, I think Elon summed it up really well, right? That um, he's been working, uh, as he says here, wrapped, wrapped up the Saturday chip design review. He's been doing weekly Saturday reviews for many months now. He's going to continue doing that. He said that uh, the chips are the most important, most important critical thing for Tesla's future, and he wants to get it run. AI5, he did discover that there was a problem. He admitted that, and that's why it got delayed. However, he also has come out saying that, okay, I think we've solved something. It's going to be a beautiful, incredible, refined chip. He's very happy now with his progress, but he did delay it to now 2027, mid-2027. So what does that mean for us? Well, luckily, it looks like that AI4 is able to do RoboTaxi. And AI4 will be in the cars and the cyber cabs and the humanoid bots until... AI5 comes out. Question is, right, can it do, we know it can do RoboTaxi, so that is great. That is the most important thing. It's not going to delay RoboTaxi rollout. And then the interesting thing is even Ashok, um, I've been repeating this a few times, he was at the shareholder meeting. I never met him. He was outside of Giga Texas. And then he was uh, met my friend. My friend asked him about Hardware 3 cars. And what he told him was, actually, not only will the Hardware 3 cars get version 14, which is, you know, and be able to do, get the, the full self-driving, it will be able to do RoboTaxi. So I, he's very confident that they can take the version 14 and create a light version of it to be able to work in Hardware 3 cars. It looks like it's, it's, it's enough to do RoboTaxi with Hardware 4 cars. So for that perspective, I'm not sure that it impacts us as Tesla investors that much. Um, we will see, maybe it delays. I, I was asking some experts and they think that might delay, let's say Grok integration, you know, like this ability to actually ask Grok to, hey, move the car forward, come pick me up at 510 instead. Um, you know, I want you to park not in front of this fire hydrant, but park in front of that mailbox, something like that, you know, and then let it do that. It might not be able to do that kind of uh, interactivity until you got AI5, uh, but RoboTaxi seems to be fine, safe to be able to produce uh, both cyber cabs and Model Ys to be used in RoboTaxi. So I don't know if we should be that worried about it. I'm not worried about it. If you'd have asked me two years ago, can hardware for do the job? I'd have said, ah, probably not based on my experience with version 14, uh, version 11 at the time. I'd say, you know, it works great in California. It works great in the densest parts of California. But as you radiate out from there, it works poorer and poorer as you, as you go. Uh, I'd have said it's not adequate. With mm. 12, I uh, saw a glimpse of light at the end of the tunnel. With version 13, I realized that light was not an oncoming train, but actually uh, the end of the journey there. And with 14, it's pretty clear that Hardware 4 can do the job. And I call it Hardware 4 because when I bought the car, it said Hardware 4. You don't get to go back and change it to AI. It's not doing AI in the car as far as I can tell. It's hardware. But that's my personal grievance. So you're saying that people should stop saying, I'm not buying a car until it has Hardware 5. AI I 5. mean, 
<laughs> you should th think about it. Absolutely think about it. But if it's a year and a half away, and that is, you know, who knows if it will come out mid-2027. Uh, it could be late 2027. It could be two years away from now. Should you not get that card? Now, the other, the other thing we've been hearing rumors about, I don't know how true this is, that they will make it swappable. Yeah. So that if you do buy a new car now and it has the hard AI4 in it, that when AI5 comes, there's an option to up, upgrade it. I, you know, again, it's like, you know, it, it's hard to say, right? It's always like that. But two years away is, or a year and a half away is far. On the other side, <laughs> you know, in terms of the next l l leap where Tesla's going, uh, RoboTaxi is scaling in 2027. Humanoid bots should be scaling by 2027, 2028. This is perfect timing for that. And so you want the best capabilities, the, the ability to really, you know, accomplish more decisions, in the brains, be able to do things, inference, speed, performance, how long that the, the batteries will last for, those kind of things are very important. So, I mean, yeah, I would buy it. I'd buy a brand new car now. It's a year and a half away. So it's like any car. You will, you'll be able to say this because by the time AI5 comes, remember what uh, Elon said. Elon, Elon said that we have a cadence of one, the next generation AI chips yearly. So if you bought the AI5 chip, why, why not wait another year? Get the AI6 chip. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, yes, I would hasten to point out he says a lot of things. Yeah. Um, the fact that we're only on hardware for still after a couple of years, I did see a comment from a, a very loud and angry person saying, mm. well, hardware five is so delayed. I said, delayed from what? No, you haven't been given any guidance on when it was. Well, it should have come out by now. Like why? Well, I think he did give guidance on AI five. He had said sometime by the end of this year, which is now. <laughs> so mm. that was the original. Was it? He's made, like you said, he's been, yes, he's made comments before. We were expecting it. And then that, uh, I remember that clearly because I was timing it that it made sense. I do that remember. It would, come out it would come out now because it's right in time with the bot and CyberCaps. I was saying that the CyberCap production, which is, let's say, mid next year, they're not going to make that without AI5. Mm. I remember it's not when you were, year later. No. Yeah. I remember when you were looking to buy your Model 3. You were yeah. saying, boy, the Juniper is almost here. If it's going to have AI5, I really would rather right. wait. And you almost yeah. didn't buy your car. Turns out yeah. it was a good thing you did. Because but you it's, again, no worries, because the cars can do RoboTaxi. That's the critical thing, right? The reason I'm buying the cars with the most advanced AI chips is primarily because of RoboTaxi. And now we don't know yet what is the difference between AI5 versus AI4 in terms of functionality. But the most important functionality for the cars is can it do robo taxi and make me money? Can it? Can I sleep in the car? That's the most important function. Now the others, like I was saying, you know, the ability to grok integration, grok interaction, that is pretty significant. But you know what I mean? It's it's not it's not that big leap between can I make money or not make money? Can I sleep or not sleep? That's more important to me at this point. So to me, the only thing that really matters, and I guess I would ask you this is can I sleep in your car? <laughs> okay, okay. We'll we'll, you we'll just get that off, off air. Uh <clears throat> now the the question that leads to the next question. Uh, our friend Ryan Rogue from the Northwest Group got mm. up at the shareholder meeting and asked Elon Chips, 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 what are we doing? And he said, we'll build them ourselves. Can Tesla actually create a chip fab when other companies have failed, when other entire countries yeah. have failed? Is it even possible? Yeah, this is a question I've been asking a lot of people over the last year, and 99%, 100% of them said, Tesla will never get into the chip fabrication business. Never. Now, don't you know how difficult this is? Low margins. Uh, you have to have all the white suits and it's like, you know, everything has to be clean environments. Uh, it's just not something that they would ever do. And now he's saying we have to. And TerraFab is something that, uh, number one, he, as he explained at the Charlotte meeting, he doesn't want to do these things. He prefers not to, but he's forced to because the chips... The volume of chips, this is something that he needs to create. He says, I'll buy Intel, I'll buy Samsung, I'll buy TSMC. I want you to commit all your chips to me, but it won't be enough. Even if you did, I need to create the Terrafab. They've just hired 
they, he's, he means it. They're already hiring people for the TerraFab now. So that's already happening now. You can see the job posting. And then um, a viewer of mine, I did a show on this, suggested this show. I did a show with uh, Larry on this. He asked Grok, right? If, if Elon was to create a TerraFab, a, a, a semiconductor chip fact fabrication uh, facility, how would he do it based on first principles and based on you know his five steps of what he does, right? R consider all requirements to be dumb, make it less dumb, remove, remove, remove. Only once you remove do you automate and so forth. And what, what Grok came back with was shocking. <laughs> it basically said there are hundreds of steps that TSMC and Samsung do that are not required anymore. It's only because they've been they've been doing it for 40 years. And it outlined four things. I don't know what they are because they're so technical that you could if you were to start today to rebuild this. And then he even said, uh, you know, through more prompting was that if the way Elon would do it, right? He would he would throw a small group of people in a beach with just sand. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you know, a small amount of money, just use a small amount, like don't go after any major technology. Could you create a chip out of just sand to finish product? And the answer was yes. <laughs> there are ways that this can be done. Yeah. I would caution against believing things Grok says I too thoroughly. I, I, I had a great yes. time the other day. Someone suggested using Grok to make architectural floor plans for houses. <laughs> and it yeah. is hilarious. I know. Uh, it's got double tubs it's every bathroom's got two <laughs> three toilets side yeah, by yeah. side some of them some of them in the doorway a lot of bathrooms didn't even have doors yeah. that's probably for the best uh so there are but some the idea that could you reinvent semiconductor chips and could you not create what they are creating but create a you know a model that is very very specific to what you need lower cost you know faster and uh, using different equipment so you don't have to do the thoughtography at all. So skip that completely. There are ways. So does does the problems mm -hmm. Tesla has faced in ramping 4680, it's much simpler than a chip. And for that right. matter, uh, the abandonment right. of Dojo development right. uh, give you pause. Sure, absolutely. Absolutely. You're right. <laughs> what a leading question. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So there's many things that Tesla tried to do and they can't, they couldn't, they couldn't do it the way that they want to do it initially and they have to backtrack sure that happens but uh yeah this is going to be a big challenge but i think as a tesla investor it, it shows you that the vision and the mission is like millions billions eventually of you know uh, intelligent moving moving products <laughs> and so, uh yeah i'll put I my want pitch them to build this here. Here's my pitch because you know Elon's watching this. That's what he does all day is hangs out and watches me. Clearly, oh, yeah. here's my pitch is, it, oh yeah, yeah. No, here's my pitch is uh, partner, partner with sure. with with Intel or 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 TSMC, because when Tesla partners with these amazing companies like Panasonic, the result is. Uh, stronger than either of the companies individually they are these apes are stronger together they will rise up and uh and and be be more powerful <laughs> and if, yeah. and that's yeah i mean i'm sure and in that movie as you recall nothing went wrong no no that's not <laughs> i've stretched the analogy too far there are there are challenges we're seeing Samsung and TSMC struggling to get their fabs in the U S up mm. and running. Apparently mm. for some of the chemicals, they have to import them from Taiwan because they just can't get the purity they need. Uh, so, well, I mean, Tesla's already did that, right? They partner with Samsung. They partner with TSMC. They're switching back to Samsung. They're learning. They're physically Samsung's building is right there in, in, in walking distance from, you know, driving distance from the Gigafactory. Elon is walking that line. He's learning how they're doing it. He's telling them what to do to improve it. These partnerships are happening. He says, I'll partner with you, Intel, if you have, please partner with us too. And then once you do that, you'll learn and then you decide. But at the end of the day, he needs to build it because then these guys alone is not enough. They're not going to be able to build the sheer number that he wants. All right. Well, uh, place your bets, folks. Uh, can Tesla pull off uh, what whole countries have not? Maybe. They've done it before. Uh, 
can can spacex actually reuse a rocket come on that's crazy 30 times yes yes they can uh can you spacex has done a number of the impossible things tesla's done a number of impossible things this task is impossible that doesn't mean they can't or won't do it you know, just... remember he said as you started the show chips 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 is on my brain i can't stop thinking about chips <laughs> i can tell you every single this is his words i can tell you every single kind of like component of a chip he's this is deep in his mind it's so critically important now was he doing the same thing with 4680 batteries you know maybe not um so this is more important it's a critical the critical piece of the puzzle for Tesla and the future that he wants to build. Uh, hopefully Elon can solve this. I would agree with you that the importance of batteries versus chips, chips are easily, and I don't remember where, who I've heard say this, an order of magnitude more important. <laughs> By the way, for your Elon uh, presentation bingo card, the free space is orders of magnitude. Uh, because he will say it. Uh, guys in the comments, what do we miss? What do we misunderstand? Leave it. I beg of you. Head over to Brighter. Find out what Herbert's up to. Get a little brighter, would you? Come back. Tell me what you learned. I must know. Everybody else, stay tuned. Stay juicy. And I cannot wait to hear from you. Clever robots on the next one.